guys, today we're going to be talking about one night stands because I asked you to vote on my Twitter, which is going to be linked down below if you want to check it out and vote for upcoming videos, what you wanted to see this week and this one by a long shot. Like the other ones were kind of close and I will be doing a uh, makeup travel bag because I'm going to the Dominican very soon, so that will be an upcoming video but this one out. So, before we get into it, three quick things. Leave me other Girl Talk suggestions in the comments down below. Anything you wanna see, we all know that I have absolutely 0% shame, so I will talk about anything. Number two, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And number three, on Patreon, I just uploaded a Friends with Benefits video that's kind of similar to this, so if you wanna check that out, I'll have it linked down below. And without further ado, let's get into talking about sex. So, starting out with more of a personal twist on this, I have had one one night stand and I'm not gonna get super into it but I had a pretty solid experience but that being said I I don't really compare it to my other sexual experiences because I said this a lot on the patreon video but for me having somebody that knows my body and knows what I like and I'm comfortable in front of makes such a difference and I just I personally don't get that when I'm having a one night stand or at least I didn't from my experience with it it was consensual it was it was like good sex on the meter from like bad sex to good sex it was good sex but it wasn't as good as it would have been if we had really known each other and been super comfortable and were okay with really diving deep and exploring each other's bodies because I feel like no matter how confident you are no matter how openly sexual you are for me at least diving in is harder when you don't fully know somebody versus when you have that like emotional connection and that's not for everyone like personally I can really separate sex from emotions like I, I am a great person to have a one night stand with because I don't really care if we're gonna see each other again I'm not one to get super clingy I don't I don't really care if I see you again but <laughs> it's just not gonna be as good of sex as it would have been otherwise because that emotional connection for me while it's not necessary does heighten the sensation and the trust and what I'm willing to try with a person so that's kind of my stance on it and my experience on it and then building from that who is a one night stand right for that's one of the main questions you guys had when requesting this video and I mean just based off of my friends and my own experience I think one night stands are great if you are horny and you are okay with not seeing the person again if you're okay with you know going out and sharing an intimate experience and you like understand that this isn't going to develop into something else I feel like the way that media portrays one night stands and you can see this in movies like friends with benefits or that other one that was exactly the same like you have sex and it's fun and it's casual but then feelings develop and you inevitably fall in love and it's just not what happens. Like the majority of one night stands and friend with benefit situations I've had have just been sex. It's been sexual, hey, I'm horny, I want to bang, okay, cool, I'm on my way over. And you hang out a little bit, you cuddle, and then you get the fuck out. Like, <laughs> that's pretty much the extent of it for me anyways and from my experience. And that's what I define a one night stand as. You know, you meet someone, you go, you have sex or whatever level of like sexual intimacy you're comfortable with. And then that's pretty much it. You know, you can see each other again and again if you want to, but for me, calling something a one night stand is like it was just sexual and then that was it. Like, I don't expect someone to, like, oh, we have to go out for breakfast or oh, we have to go do this. Like, if I am having sex with a random person, I want to leave as soon as it's over or I want them to leave as soon as it's over because I like sleeping alone in my bed and I don't need someone like up on in my space that I don't even know, you know? Let's go on to preparing for a one night stand because I, I feel like, you know, sometimes they come up out of the blue, but there's still preparations that you need to make. First of all, knowing how to protect yourself and understanding the levels of consent. So like you have to understand that if you say no to anything, even if you've already started, it's a no, things stop. And it goes for the same way for your partner as well. If they say no to anything at any point, no matter how much you've already started or how deep into it you are, it's over, you're done. Like you have to be able to respect your partner and be respected regardless of how well you know them because that doesn't even enter into the equation. And then being protected is so important, especially if this is a random stranger that you meet at a bar or off of an app, like condoms are vital. Do not not use condoms. If anyone that you're meeting, and like I would even make that a precursor, like yeah, I would love to go home and bang, like do you have protection? 
like just make it a question so it's not something that comes into the conversation later if that's a worry of yours make that a prerequisite before you go home with someone do you have condoms or do we need to stop on the way home i personally am not allowing you to have sex without use of a condom if that's the kind of sex that you're having or without some use of protection because people can say they don't have diseases all night long or all they want but people lie and uh, protect yourself. I want to switch over to the morality of one night stands a little bit because I had some people sharing opinions where, you know, I don't think it's for me, I don't think it fits into my belief system, but you know, your body, your choice, do whatever you want. And I think that's a good way to look at it. Like if one night stands aren't for you, whether it be because of your beliefs or just because you can't emotionally handle it or just you just don't want to, like I can handle it. I just don't really like them because the sex isn't as good as it could be and if I'm gonna have sex I want it to be good sex like I don't want to waste my time on bad sex because I have like a vault full of vibrators so I can just take care of myself whenever I need to you know what I mean so I'm not gonna waste my time with somebody who's just gonna be like we know it's okay <laughs> so I think that you have to understand and fully be honest with yourself that if you want to have a one night stand it's okay but it's not for everybody. And if it's not for you, it doesn't mean that you're less sexually open-minded or that, you know, you're closed off or, oh, you're so judgmental. It's just, it's not for everybody and that's all right. One question that really stood out for me is how do I get out of a one night stand? Like, how do I leave? And I think that it's whatever feels more comfortable in the situation and whatever feels more comfortable for you. You know, if someone is back at your house, I would pull the, oh, you know what? Like, I'll call you a cab or I'll call you an Uber or something. Because if you're kicking someone out, you should pay for their ride home, you know? Or just be like, hey, so do you have everything that you need? I have an early morning tomorrow. Like, you know what this was. They know what this was. This wasn't like we're falling in love tonight. It was we're banging and then like you can get out of my space. And if you're at their place, just be like, oh man, I got an early day tomorrow. This was amazing. Thank you so much. I'm gonna call myself an Uber, something like that. Just to get out of the situation. You don't feel like you need to stay over because you don't. This was purely sexual for you. And you know, it might be nice to put that that into the precursor when you're kind of setting this up like hey you want to come back to my place you know you could say oh I have an early morning tomorrow are you okay if this isn't like an all-nighter or are you okay with not staying over or you know if you don't have a ride home I'll call you an uber later on after we're done hanging out something like that just so it's not like oh my god they're kicking me out this is so rude make it part of the conversation before just as you are with like you have condoms right and then kind of going off of that there was a lot of questions about how do I make this less awkward and that's the thing does it really matter if it's awkward this is sex with someone that you're probably not going to see again and if it's awkward it's awkward people have awkward exchanges throughout their lifetime this is just one of them it's gonna be weird in the moment it's gonna make for a great story later on I mean there's not really much you can do besides just laugh it off and look at the hilarity of the situation all right you guys I think that is it for this video if you want a follow-up if you want any other girl talk topics let me know in the comments down below make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this as well I am so excited to be bringing back girl talk full force I want to do at least two of these a month I am gonna be pre filming a lot of my videos because like I said I'm going to the Dominican so I'll be out of the country but that being said, that gives me a chance to pre-film another girl talk if you guys get back to me with some different topics or things that you want to see. So let me know. I love you so much and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.